and Miriam. You will be the teal team. What the who now? How much further? According to the map, we're two kilometers away. Oh, do you need me to carry your luggage? I don't need your help. I would never trust anyone here with my luggage. I watch these types of shows. What a surprise. Another young whippersnapper who loves to dress for attention. What do you say, Miriam? Girls Alliance? As long as it's not me, I'd vote for anyone. I told him, no, you can't cut down those trees to put a shop here. But he didn't listen and did it anyway. So, the day before the opening, I broke all his windows. Gabby, can you help Miriam up? I don't need help. O okay. Miriam, are you going with us? Whatever. I'll take that as a yes. Hey, how's it going, Miriam? Can't you see it's still cooking? Uh, yeah. Listen, I wanted to ask you if you're okay. You've been kind of upset since we got here and... Whatever happened to minding your own business? Go bother someone else, kid. I don't know what I was thinking coming here. If it weren't for my retirement money, I wouldn't be here. Fear of confronting your past! You must pick a cheesecake! What's so painful about cheesecake? You got this, Miriam. I'd rather not. What? Why? It's personal, okay? I don't owe you all a reason. What the hell was that? It's clear the boys will try to get us out. Do you think so? We have to do something! We should vote together. Maybe I could convince one of the guys to vote with us. I'll vote for whoever you damn please if you let me sleep. Okay. I guess it's my turn with Miriam. Hey, uh, Miriam, if you set the ore this way, it could help- Dear Lord up above, why must you forsaken me on a canoe with this wretched child? What did I do to deserve this? Huh? Are you trying to say I don't know what I'm doing? Uh, I'm just saying that- Just zip it, Boy Scout! Miriam, we both have to get there! Fine. Just no talking. Your voice is annoying. Okay. Wow, I didn't know you could row that fast. It's not the first time I've done this. Back in grade school, I was a part of our school rowing team. Sure, I'm not as strong as I used to be, but I haven't lost my technique. Teal team wins! They'll be getting a special advantage in this next challenge. <laughs> About time. Well, Miriam, we're the last two. Do you want to go first? I have no one to call. Why? Quit being a nosy brat! Fine, I'll go. I can cook. Jake, are you okay? Since when do you care? You're always telling me to shut up and leave. I couldn't help but hear the call. You don't need to pity me. I know it's hard, but remember that she will always be in your heart and in your memories. We can always honor our loved ones by keeping their legacy alive, by lovingly remembering them. Huh, I didn't expect those words from you. I'm saying this because I've been there before. What do you mean you've been there? I haven't told anyone about this. You can talk to me. A couple of years ago, on my husband's birthday, I wanted to surprise him with a cheesecake, his favorite, with little strawberries on top. I'm the only one who made it the way he likes. So I told my son to take him to the mall, maybe buy his dad a gift while I baked. But when I had the dessert ready, I called them to come back, but they never did. Oh. 
Apparently, a drunk driver hit their car. A head collision. No survivors. It took me to a dark place for a long time. Those two were all I had. I'm so sorry, Miriam. It's never easy to lose someone you love. When I heard what happened to your grandmother, it all came flooding back. <laughs> it took me a long time to finally move out of that dark place. To suppress the anguish and loneliness I felt. I tried to be tough, Jake. But it's really hard. <laughs> Not half bad. You've done this before? Thank you. I used to cook with my grandmother a lot. I was happy I did well in the challenge. Cooking is my passion. And when Jake and I cooked, I haven't felt that normal in a long time. I guess I judged the boy too soon. Jake and I really bonded in the last challenge. It sort of opened my eyes. It's gotten me to open up more to these kids. Do you like him? What? Tom, do you like him? Uh, no. Why do you say that? You always smile when you're talking to him. It's just, I like him, but not in that way. I'm not ready to be in a relationship. Why? Recently, I was in a somewhat toxic relationship and things didn't end well. What did he do? He cheated on me. And I couldn't get over it. Well, you're young. Unlike me, you still have a lot of time ahead of you. Hi, Jake. Oh, uh, what's up? What do you want? There's something you need to know. This is not the best time, Gret. Come on, Jake. Gret has clearly lost it. Jake, settle down, son. Shut up, both of you. You're acting like children. Gotcha. Hey, follow me. Um, okay. I can't stand by and watch Gret manipulate the team and kick Jake out. It's time to take action myself, kids. Sorry about today. It's okay. I'm sure Gret was behind it. That's just what I was getting at. Everyone here is falling for her tricks, and we can't have that. But what will we do? I don't know if I can trust Tom after betraying the guy's alliance. <sighs> and tell the truth. I don't know if I can trust you after voting for me. What makes me sure you won't do it again? You can fool these Gen Zers, but my generation still has a brain in our head. Go away! Not me. You'll wish I'd just gone home. We already do. No one is thrilled you're still here. Oh, just you wait, you old hag. Because you're a liar. Ugh, enough already. I'll help you. Are you sure you can do it, Miriam? Of course I can. Don't let my age fool you. When I was younger, sports helped me get away from my issues at home. I put my body through every high school varsity sport imaginable. I took water, polo, lacrosse, cheerleading, and even debate. What? Debate not a sport? I could debate that. Hey, Tom. Oh, uh... Hi, Miriam. 
Things are a bit complicated with Jake, aren't they? Well, that's one way to put it. <sighs> I know it's my fault, but he's exaggerating with his attitude. He's just an immature kid. Don't take it personally. It's hard not to. He'll get over it. I've got the blindfolds. Our team was on a winning streak, but suddenly Ellie joins our team and we lose. Maybe her joining our team is a bad omen. What are we going to do now? I think the decision is simple. We vote for Ellie. Ellie? Why? She's not from our team. She wasn't before, but she's now. She joined two days ago. She is the only option. I have seen who Tom and Jake are as people, so there's no way I'm voting for them. As for Ellie, who even is she? But I don't want to vote for her. Gabby, trust me, it's for the best. For you it is! But not for me. You always do what's the best for you and you don't care what anyone else thinks. Like when you vote for me! I don't think she wants to vote Ellie. Now what? We can try to get Tom or Jake to vote with us. I don't think Jake would vote for Ellie. But I could convince Tom. Hey, Tom. I'm not feeling well right now. If you're coming to tell me something about elimination, just tell me who to vote and I'll do it. Okay, just make sure you vote for Ellie. Uh, I have to go clean my socks or something. Uh, I'll be back later. Immunity totem and I want to use it. <gasps> what? Damn. Damn. How are you today, Jake? I've been better. What's wrong? I... I messed things up with Tom. It's never too late to tell someone how you feel. It couldn't hurt. What do you mean? Go talk to him. Tell him how you really feel about him. Right now? Yes! Move your ass, boy! Heavens for the rest of the game. About time. Challenge starts in a few minutes. I know. I hope one of you wins. I'm worried you guys could be in danger. What? Why do you say that? I'm sorry. I don't think I'm allowed to tell you. Tell us. Fine. It's just that... Since your team was so divided after last night's immunity totem elimination... I'm worried you guys are gonna try to eliminate each other. How do you know about the totem? I overheard Ellie and Gabby telling Alec and proposing to vote for one of you. Dang, Nabbit! I knew we couldn't trust them. But since you're my old teammates, I won't vote for any of you. Thanks for telling us, Fiore. Don't mention this, please. I don't want to make anyone mad. I'll take a life from Miriam. Miriam and Tom all lost a life. Gabby. Why are you trying to get us out? You were doing the same with us. Settle down, Jake. Gabby. Miriam. Miriam! Y'all just don't have an appreciation for the 60s. What a crowd. 
I knew you were going to betray us when you had the chance. The one who laughs last laughs the loudest. Where are Jake and Tom? I saw them go for a walk. Maybe they're making up. At least I hope they are. It'd be good if they can finally clear the air. I trust those knuckleheads will. Sorry for attacking you so much in the previous challenge. We fell for their plan. It's okay. It was also my fault. I judged you too soon without knowing if you were with them or not. I do that a lot. Do what? Judging people without knowing their true intentions. It's fine. We can't change the past. We have to look towards a better future. Maybe I was wrong to think badly of these young'uns. Of course there are a few bad eggs, but most of them are surprisingly tolerable. If they don't come soon, I'm leaving. What is that? Oh no. What is happening? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. It has to be a challenge or something. Did you hear that? It sounded like gunshots. Open the door! Quick! Don't fall for this. It's just a production challenge. But they attacked me. I'm bleeding. What? Why are you all looking at me like that? So... this isn't a challenge? Uh, you think? What do we do? Lucky, those undead freaks are constantly hunting us down. Wow, Miriam, how did you learn to do that? I did a little knife throwing back in the day. Won gold at my junior summer Olympics at my high school. Are there really knife throwing contests? Sure, there's contests for everything if you look hard enough. Help! Fiore, what happened? We thought you were dead. Well, I guess we could help you out. Are you sure, Jake? Isn't Fiore supposed to be the enemy? It's a trap! Art stuff! Morons! Wait! You can't do that! We got one of their backpacks! Miriam! Oh, come on, back to the tent! Miriam, stay with me! Jake, I don't have much time left. Y you have to hold on. We can go find you help. Let's not hit ourselves, hun. Don't leave me. Coming to this camp was worth it. I didn't think my last days would end like this, but I'm happy they were with you. You are the grandchildren I never had. Not again. <laughs> Please tell me this isn't hell. And drop it in the ballot box. These cupcakes are delicious. How do you bake something like that over a campfire? I learned. I used to work at a bakery in the countryside. Darn oven was more fragile than the eggs that went in the batter. You've really done so much in your lifetime. How old are you? Rude to ask a woman her age. But I am 72 years old. How are you doing, G? I've been trying to knock over this stupid vase for five minutes. The necklaces are inside. Want to give it a go? I know what to do, but I don't have strong enough hands. Oh, why don't you teach me and I'll get us both necklaces. Okay. First... Spread your feet a little. Now pull the bow back. Keep your elbow out and your shoulders down. 
aim at the target and release the arrow. Wait, how do I know if I'm aiming correctly? Aim using the scope at the top of the bow. Make sure you aim slightly higher than the target. I did it! Well done! Let me get yours too. I've never had a chance to get to know today's youth, so this is what it's like to have a grandson. What's going on? Jake's being his usual self. What is it this time? I don't know. He didn't even tell me. Those two troublemakers might have something to do with this. It doesn't matter. Jake's so gullible. He believes everything he's told. After all this time, you'd think he'd at least talk to me about it. I know Jake can be dense, but he's a good boy. You keep on saying that, but he, he never learns. Does my care and affection mean nothing to him? Every day I'm here, I like being around Jake less and less. Children, children, stop fighting, please. Is that true, Ellie? Tom, I get that you're mad at Jake, but if he goes, you and I will go right after. Think carefully about this. Oh shit. We fell for their trap again. You know this is your fault, right? I know. You know, at one point, I thought I could trust you, and maybe I was too quick to judge you, but you've proven you're just like Gret Fiore and Alec. You're a no-good troublemaker. Anything to win money, right, shows your character through and through. Okay, I'm not about to be shamed for wanting to win. As if you don't. Why would you vote with them in the first place? They betrayed you. After we voted out Fiori and Alec, who would have been next? All right, fine. It would have been you. See why I did what I did? It doesn't bother me that you kicked Tom out. It's a game after all, but maybe you should have done things in a way where they wouldn't get hurt. It was the only way, Miriam. I'm sorry. I think we lost it. I have a flashlight. What do you have? Flashlight too. Damn. We need someone with batteries if we want to be able to see. We can find the exit without a flashlight. Don't talk nonsense. We'll have to get help from one of the others. Uh, so something's coming. Who's there? Not another scorpion, please. Surprise! Ah! At least I'm not a scorpion. Kinda wish it was now. What do you need? Go away. Unless you've got batteries. I do, but they're not for you. What do you want from us, then? Give me your flashlight. I can guide you along the way. Do you think we're gonna trust you? I can't steal your flashlight. I'm small. If I try to run away with it, you'll catch up with me quickly. I hate to say it, but the girl's got a point, Jake. Give her your flashlight. But just give it to her. Okay. Let's explore the area. To the left. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yays and boomers first. You did put the batteries in, right? I can barely see a thing. Yeah, I guess they're running out. We better hurry. Damn! I think the batteries are dead. <laughs> Jay? Oh no! It looks like he fell off the cliff. You meant for this to happen, didn't you, you rat? Oh! Jay! Hang on, I'm coming! 
I should call Child Protective Services on you, you know? Guess you won't be needing this. What the hell is the matter with you? You can't steal from an old lady. Write the name of the person you want to vote out. Come on, Jake. I'll walk you out. Miriam, I'm so sorry to be leaving you. Maybe if I had taken things differently, none of this would have happened. It's okay, Jake. We can't change the past. Thank you so much for supporting me. Everything from my grandmother to Tom. Don't fret, kid. I thought I wouldn't open up to anyone here. But you were patient with me and taught me that I shouldn't judge people so quickly. You may be down, but you're not out. Play your butt off, Miriam. We'll see each other when this is all over, okay? I'd like that. These people voted out Tom and Jake. They fooled me time and time again. They think my days are numbered, but they don't realize who they're messing with. No more Mrs. Nice Gran. Uh, give this to Fiora, please. Anyway, see you in a couple of hours for the challenge. This is my cat, Biscuit's paw. My neighbor Joey is taking care of him. There's also... There's also a photo of my husband and son. I wish they were here to see how far I've come. I bet they'd be proud of me. What was in your letter? A few bills to pay, but it was good to hear from home. You know, if you want to pay those bills, we have to vote Alec out. Yeah, I'm not sure if I could beat him in the finale. Don't worry. No matter what, I'm not voting for you tonight. You're tough, but Alec is tougher. We could try to flip Fiori to our side. Although, those two are very close. I'm not sure if it's possible. Everybody reveal! Fiore and Miriam will be facing off against- Quit your whining, Fiore. Let's get this over with already. I'm not going to jump. I refuse. Wait, what are you doing? Ah! Is there even a point in trying? Let's just get this over with. You have to stop winning these challenges. But I need the immunity. If you win, you will go straight to the final with Alec. Think about your chances of winning against him versus with me or Fiore. But if I try to sabotage this challenge and we don't manage to convince Fiore, I could be out. Fiore is smart. Possibly smarter than the two of us. I don't think she wants to go to the final with Alec, knowing that she will lose. Okay, but promise me that you'll do everything you can to save me from the elimination. I promise. The pace to stay alive. This isn't working! Damn! Didn't you do this before? Yes, but with matches. Not with rocks. What was that? Come on, Fiore. Help me. Fiore and Miriam managed to complete their campfire and win their first point. Yeah! We did it. This is impossible! Put me on your shoulders! I have an idea. What are you going to do? Just try to catch the flag. Ah! That hurt! We won! 
The pain was worth it. Fiori and Miriam take their second point. What's going on between you and Ellie? Ellie is helping us win. Why? Would you be willing to take Ellie with us to the finals? I don't know. Is that what you're planning? Yes. We will have a better chance against her than Alec. You and I can also work together to become the final two after that. We're here! Yes, it sounds easy. Or you, yes, because you're small. Hi, I can't. In just a few seconds, Miriam is out of the chair. Miriam and Fiore win immunity! It. Ultimate million? I choose Ellie, and I won't change my mind. Or Miriam. I'll admit, this old woman looks like she doesn't stand a chance. But don't count me out just yet. I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Being here was better than I expected. I thought I was going to end up getting voted out by a bunch of ignorant teenagers. But it turns out, I got to meet a few worthwhile people. Although I've made an effort to not be so grumpy recently. I may be remembered that way, but I guess you can't please everyone. <laughs> Thanks for the support, everyone. I didn't think I would get that much. I choose Tom. First two to get there with the final challenge of this venture cam starts now! Fiore, we have to work together to slow Ellie down. I know, she's the most athletic out of us. Do you need my help? What's on your mind? Leave it to me. Tom, can you go get the keys for both of them? I'm on it. Enough! Quit your bickering! Well, Tom, how are things with Jake? We haven't talked. I'm still a bit upset about what happened. You have every right to be. But I think you'll feel better if you both just listen to each other. Don't let it end on a bitter note. What would I gain from that? Better to have no regrets. Not talking to him and ever seeing him again after this could leave you feeling terrible about this entire experience. I know you two are both good people. Trust me, as a woman who's had many regrets in her long life, if you had an opportunity to change things, you should take it. Uh, okay, I'll think about it. I have my shovel. And what do we do? Follow me. We'll go looking for the finish line until Fiore gets back. We're close. Faster. I'm running as fast as I can. Wait, why are Gabby and Ellie running in the opposite direction? Oh, they tricked us. Oops. Miriam, you can do this. Oh, my. I can't go on any... Oh my... My... Faster, Ellie! I can see the finish line! Here I come! Wait... I need help! Oh... My heart... I... Miriam? Stop running! Help! My heart! There's pain in my... Ah! Miriam! Oh no... Miriam? <sighs> Answer me! What's wrong with her? Is she okay? Uh, uh, I'll call an ambulance. You watch her. Miriam, can you hear us? Help. I... What is it? I... I can smell that million bucks calling to me. What? what? The shovel! Miriam is our second 
finalist! Yes! Ellie is out of the game! It was the only option. You know, my husband once taught me, maybe I won't always beat them with this. But you can always beat them with this. We have our two finalists, Fiore against Miriam. Explain the last part of the challenge. Tom, I can handle the digging. Keep an eye on Gret. She may try to sabotage me again. Okay, you got this. Finally! Goodbye, loser! I'll catch up with you, little rascal. See Miriam in the distance. No, no, no! I will not lose here! Not after everything! Move, you stupid! With that, we have a winner! Miriam is the winner of this venture camp! Yeah! You did it, Miriam! Woohoohoo! Finally! After all the hard work these old bones put in, it was worth it. Congratulations, Miriam! I know this money was definitely well earned. <laughs> oh, you better believe it, hon. They did what? Um, Miriam, any chance you could, like, bail us out, please? My money! Where's Tom? I is he okay? I guess there goes my money. Yeah, sorry, I, I couldn't save it. Damn. <laughs> Just kidding. Got it right here. <laughs> here, Miriam. Thank you. You two ready for all stars? Hi, Crystal. You bet we're excited. Right, Miriam? Absolutely. I'm ready to collect another million. Hmm, I must say, Miriam, I'm surprised. Hasn't it been, uh, what is it, two years since you've played? Aren't you worried your age is catching up to you? Bleh, nonsense. I heard it before when I first played and look what happened. There is no age limit for Adventure Crystal. Hey, Miriam, it's not too late, you know? If you're not sure about this, we can still leave. Of course I'm sure. It's just... I'm worried. Have you lost your damn mind? I didn't drag my geriatric ass all the way out here just to turn back. Okay. Hello, Miriam. Our viewers are dying to know. What did you do with the million? I bought a house near the beach. Then, with what was left, I helped Jake so he could move out of his parents' house. Do you have problems with your parents, Jay? No, they're just not the most understanding people, and I preferred to distance myself for a while. The Disventure Camp audience loved the relationship you formed during the first season. Do you two still keep in contact? All the time! We're basically neighbors. We even went on a trip a few months ago, although we had to cut it short. 
Why? That's none of your beeswax. Miriam got a little sick and she's been having some back problems. Posh, posh. The important thing is I'm better now. Does it bother you to talk about your vulnerabilities, Miriam? Next question, please. Okay, Jake! In this entire interview, you haven't mentioned Tom. What happened to him? Next question, please. Emily, if you have insight, Jake would love to know what happened to Tom. What? No, I wouldn't. Why would I care about him? Oh, brother. Jake, Miriam, great to meet you in person. <laughs> the pleasure's ours. Oh, you kids were my favorites in your season. There was one more, though. What happened to the other girl? I forgot her name. Uh, hello. Tom, um, I... How have you been? A call to ask how we were doing wouldn't have hurt. Later. No. How can we not be? You dragged us all on live television. I might die of old age before this plane lands. What if we don't jump? Uh, think this is where we split. Your camps are on the right and mine's down this left path. Let him go, Jake. He's clearly not interested in patching things up. I don't want to assume things like last time. I want to hear it from him. His silence speaks volumes. After everything we've been through, is this really it? It might be time to move on. Easier said than done. Hot diggity, you have fire. Good job, Sonny. Ah, uh, it's nothing, ma'am. This way. We're here. Oh, Miriam. Gret, the human hemorrhoid. What a treat. Wow, Granny. You look just like this old woman I got accused of pushing down an escalator. Also, if you call my girlfriend a hemorrhoid again, you'll be rolling down this hill. Just try it, whippersnapper. I'll get mine now. Attackers. Whatever. Not like I care. I got my eye on Alec. He's up to no good. 